Hey guys, as you know, I've been pretty sick with strep throat the last couple of days. Actually, the last six days has been brutal, but I started my antibiotics this morning and there's already a huge difference. Thankfully, I'm getting my voice back, which is good, but I've also not been able to go to work because I was contagious. So, being homebound, I just decided to make a lot of food today and I wanted to share with you a little bit what I did. So, I love personally the simple green smoothie girls um, they do a lot of plants they're plant-based they're super nutritious super tasty and a whole bunch of flavors and um, they have quite a few plants that I love and the one that I decided to do this time is called fresh start 21 but it's the spring version so um, I did a lot of the more specifically the snacks and the stuff that takes the longest today and then actually putting together the dinners is actually quite easy like literally 10-15 minutes afterwards so I'll kind of show you what I did today um, and everything was so delicious by the way anyways and um, yeah I'm gonna open all the containers just kind of flip the camera around show you guys what it looks like and uh, talk to you a little bit about it so to start with I made a whole bunch of quinoa I also <coughs> excuse me, made some brown rice and I made <clears throat> this amazing muesli which is literally simply um, oats, coconuts, almonds, pepitas, sunflowers together and it's like just raw and I'll show you what I use with it a little later. I made this is like by far one of my favorites, one of my favorite snacks and it made all these portions. Um, so this is a half cup, which is a portion in my meal plan. And you basically roast, you put together a whole bunch of ingredients. So same type of thing. It's coconut, almonds, cashews, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. And then you put some maple syrup, cinnamon, and a little bit of vanilla in there. And then you bake it in the oven. And it is so freaking delicious. And then you just divide it up among the containers. Now, um... This recipe I made, which was, which is gonna, it was, it was both, it was my lunch for today. So I did post a picture, and it goes with these sweet potatoes here. So basically, I cut, I did the regular sweet potatoes with the purple sweet potatoes, and I baked that in the oven. And then after I finished the rice and the quinoa, I used my slow cooker to actually make this recipe. It's a barbecue lentil. And I, <clears throat> instead of sitting around and adding all the stuff one after another and putting it all, um, basically using like a regular, just putting it on the stove, I put all the ingredients in my slow cooker, um, not my slow cooker, sorry, my rice cooker, and I, I just kicked it off and I was able to keep prepping a whole bunch of other foods and it turned out amazing. And this went with this kale slaw. Now, I took some kale out of my... Um, <clears throat> out of my um, garden so this was the, my first time eating it it has apple carrots celery and the dressing is made with like a cashew cream I'm gonna be talking about my cashew cream very soon because I used it for a lot of the different recipes but basically it was the cashew cream and then I would I just added extra ingredients like Dijon mustard uh, apple cider vinegar maple syrup stuff like that so delicious um, so this is the cashew cream, there's not a lot left because I used it for my dinner, which I'll be posting a picture very shortly. Uh, but basically I also thought out a lot of uh, frozen, veg frozen fruits because for me fresh, um, I mean I just prefer buying the frozen ones and just thawing out what I need. So I did a whole bunch of frozen mixed berries, I thawed it out and then I added this muesli to it. And then tomorrow I'm going to be adding cashew cream to it. Um, and I had it for a snack already. This is what's left. And then I'm just going to add my cashew cream tomorrow. I didn't want to do it in advance. This is called Heaven in a Bowl. This is my snack for tomorrow. So these are my two snacks for tomorrow. It's going to be my morning snack with the cashew cream. And then this is basically, um, it's pineapple, coconut shreds. There is some almonds. And then you put maple syrup. And then this is um, mint from my garden outside. It is so freaking good you just mix it all together and then the maple syrup just gives it all that sweetness so what I had tonight which the picture will be coming very shortly um, it was super simple to make honestly just because everything is already prepped <clears throat> all I had to do was cut up some zucchini from my garden some onion and add some cumin and chili powder 
and black beans and then just kind of mix everything together until it was warm enough and then I literally put it in purple cabbage um, this is again from my garden this is what's left so Ili and I kind of pretty much had the whole thing and then this is whatever's left of our big zucchini from the garden so um, that was my basically my meal prep for today. All the stuff that took the longest to cook, like I said, I put everything in the, in the rice cooker. Um, for me, it's like I'm able to do so many more things at the same time when I'm using the rice cooker. And I just do them in order of the cleanest to the messiest type of thing. And uh, I was able to do a whole bunch of stuff in advance. So I have all my snacks for tomorrow. I have my lunches. Basically, I'll show you my calendar so you guys see what it looks like. It's all course damage from all the water and stuff but this is the um, meal plan for the first month so tomorrow instead of the key lime popsicles which is not very convenient at work I'm gonna have um, the raw berry crisp which was the berries and the, um, the cashew cream and the muesli that I showed you and then the black bean zucchini tacos which is what I just described to you and then the pineapple heaven in a bowl is um, this one and then for dinner tomorrow, tomorrow is baked hash cakes with peas. Now again, because I already did the quinoa, um, it's gonna be a matter of seconds of assembling everything to get, together. And it's gonna be just super freaking tasty. So all in all, that is what I did today among just sitting down, relaxing. I wasn't able to talk very much. I wasn't able to eat very much or drink very much either today. Um, I'm just starting to recuperate now. Um, even just fruit, like anything that's um, that's very citrus, has a lot of citrus in it, just would burn everything going down. So I haven't been able to consume a lot. And what I did was literally just for the baby to make sure that baby was fine. Um, and then, yeah, everything else is sl slowly starting to fall into place. I still was able to do my workout. Um, thankfully, it was only weights today, so I didn't have, I wasn't breathing as hard. Um, I feel like tomorrow, because tomorrow is cardio, is going to be a little harder for me. Um, but hopefully by tomorrow, it's going to be a full 24 hours that I'm on my antibiotics. Hopefully by tomorrow, it's going to be a lot better um, and not, not be burning as much. So all in all, that was my meal prep for today. And pretty much everything is done for the next the next week. All my snacks, everything is done. And then I'm just going to have to like kind of assemble stuff together, which is going to be super quick. But I will be posting the amazing zucchini black bean tacos that we had tonight on purple cabbage with, uh, we covered it with um, avocado and cashew cream. It was so good. So I hope you guys have an amazing night. And just so you know, it doesn't have to be super complicated for, you know, just to eat healthy and make healthy choices. Sometimes just following a meal plan is so much easier and it takes all the thinking away. And you just do whatever's more time consuming whenever you have extra time. And then all the rest, it kind of just goes with the flow. So I hope you have an amazing night and I'll chat with you later.